episode of OMG We Bought a House is made possible by our friends at Sun Basket. We love Sun Basket because it's super easy and convenient to get organic, non-GMO ingredients from the best farms and fishermen sent right to your door. Sun Basket's new family menu makes it easy to cook delicious, seasonal, and nutritionist approved recipes the whole family will love. Each box features a recipe co-created with chef Tyler Florence of the Food Network. There are gluten-free, vegetarian, paleo-friendly, and chef's choice options available. Get your first three meals free at sunbasket.com slash Mr. Kate. And now, OMG, we bought a house. house. <laughs> Can't wait to decorate. There's so much we can make. How will it turn out? OMG, we bought a house. Kate, door. Coming! Hi! Hi! Welcome back, guys! OMG, we bought a house. We're in the backyard. Don't be fooled, we're standing right next to a porta potty. And it's kind of stinky. We haven't updated you guys in a while because we have been working on. OMG, we're coming over, but stuff has been happening and we've been vlogging all along. <laughs> we've compiled a lot of vlog footage with all the updates we've done. This is a huge moment! Before we do that, subscribe. Subscribe. We're gonna get this video to what? 47,232 likes. So yeah. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. This house was always so like dark. Tan and like red. We're, we're gonna, gonna clean it up. We're gonna clean it up. Crispy white. We picked the color. Winter morn. It's just like the slightest gray tone of white. <gasps> oh my god, the painting is going on still. We were, we were debating on painting we were versus doing a smooth coat stuff. Yeah, we were yeah, doing it. Yeah, but. Can <laughs> <laughs> spit on my face? <laughs> and we ultimately decided that we're going to paint it because it cheaper. Was cheaper. We wanted to spend the money elsewhere. What is it? What are you doing? Ask my permission. It's what like are you doing? eyelash. Stop. That flesh stick heading at my face. <laughs> um, so, look, look, look. We've had to cover all of the windows with brown paper because obviously we're trying to reduce the amount of paint we're getting on the windows. But it's causing our house to be a dungeon and our cats are just like freaking out. Look at Winston. He hears the painters outside. You can't believe what's happening. Who's painting my house? House is vintage, you guys know it was built in the 20s. The garage doors are just like falling apart. We need to put in the new doors, we want well, to put yeah. in windows. We love to go the salvage, like vintage route when possible. Now we're at Ye Old Things in downtown LA. We've got amazing things here, you guys. It's such a cool place. Mwah. Look at this mirror. A K. Look, a big K. We need these. Winston and Roxanne. <laughs> Eight grand a piece. I don't know that this is the place we're gonna find like a used window. We're not gonna save money here. You can buy ready built, ready to be installed windows at your hardware store. We're going to Home Depot. We're making the decision between a gridded window and a non gridded, gridded window. These are definitely nicer than the ones at Lowe's. Let's get that one, it's a little bigger. We found a window we like. We it's all, cheap, which it's, we like. It's cheap, and we can install it like this week, which we like. Make a muscle. Suck it in. Yeah. Remember oh. the store that we went to go pick out our front door? We went back to that store, this huge warehouse. We got these giant doors. Whoa. The doors came raw wood, which is great, because then you can stain it whatever color you like. There's four of these eight foot doors for oak sills. Today is the day. Goodbye, ugly brown doors. Whoa. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> High five. We just popped out the old doors. No. No, Joey, come back with that. Joey Winston, our child, is watching. I think you need to go to therapy. Damn! 
Look at that gigantic new hole we had to cut. Now it's one big panel of windows. Let's in so much light. Ba -ba 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 Bam. We're adding some new stucco around them to just clean it all up, seal it all in. I don't like the style of this. It's like more like old special. school. Yeah. We wanted to mimic the pattern of the original stucco from the 20s, but we had to fill in those gaps. And then we're just gonna paint over it and hopefully you won't even be able to tell the difference. But this looks really good all filled in. Oh my gosh. So we're doing a really cool project with our deck. It looks like a mess. It is a mess. We had like a weird infinity deck. Oh! <laughs> it just was like a sheer drop off. So we're gonna repurpose mm -hmm. the pergola wood. So we, we're, we're no longer gonna have a wood deck under the pergola. We're gonna yep. do some sort of hardscape there. Yep. But we're gonna use that wood, which is the same wood they built the deck out of originally. And we're gonna build benches and inset stairs within the actual deck. Yes, our master bedroom doors that open out onto the deck. So we're gonna have an area of steps there. Boom, boom, boom. I know, like it's so crazy that they didn't originally do that. Over in the corner, because we had kind of this angled cut on the deck, it made a lot of sense to have that become an angled set of stairs because it really leads you straight over to the garage area. So we want a nice flow from the back deck over to that area and this is like the perfect solution. We saved a ton of money. Wood lasts for so long, right? So it looked kind of crappy, but all it's gonna take is a sand job and some nice stain. stain. And the stain we picked for the deck was a little bit of a different color than we chose for the fence. We're playing with those mixed wood tones. Let's go look at the stone setting process, shall we? So we're gonna map out with some spray paint on the dirt. Well, that's not right. Okay, well, it's rough. Spray paint in the yard. Are you burping? You wanna get it out? Just get it out. Sorry, <laughs> we have like a partial <clears throat> burp because we got her fur. Our meandering path. <laughs> Doesn't look like much now. Oh no, my knee. Uh-oh. We make a gravel base. We're gonna place these really cool pavers. Hammer them in. So it's basically like a giant tile job. So it's gonna curve around here and turn into like a path. These pavers are set really close together, so there's really small cracks, but then you go over it with sand. And you just take a broom and you broom it in and you, you kind of repeat that over the course of many days and the sand just keeps settling and it eventually settles until it's at the top. Filling in with sand has a very lived in look. Totally, yeah, yeah. we don't have to wait for it to age. Stone is like this cool colored gray and we chose to do it in different shapes. So we have both the square and the rectangle. So it has kind of more of that English storybook look to it. With the peaked roofs and the texture and the cute arched windows, so we wanted the pavers to be that way too. Right after the parking pad, that's obviously really wide, we've gone more narrow and the first narrowing in that little area of dirt, we're gonna do a nice little European fountain, maybe with some up lights, we have to pick it out. Lights. Lighting is so important. I mean, you guys know how important it is inside. It's also really important outside. Like if you think of those really beautiful homes that you see, hotels, there's always like lights lighting up the trees and along the pathway. We went to a lighting designer. Lightscapers. Lightscapers. Our friends at Lightscapers who yeah. specialize in outdoor lighting. Uh -huh. There's specialists in everything. We're gonna put those at the base of the trees. Yeah, gotta pick out a lot of good lights. Essentially, the low voltage thing means that because it's using very little power, you put it on a timer and it just goes on at night. And this is what we're putting on the steps. Right here. Picking out lights, picking out lights. So obviously on the inside of the garage, we had- just, It's so pretty. It's so pretty. It's it was so just pretty, all raw guys. wood before. We wanted a vaulted area of our ceiling. We left it raw, which means the old shingles, the original shingles from the 20s, for some reason they just left those and then put the new shingles over them. So underneath you can see, it's like a very cool architectural detail. Yeah. So we decided to just paint that white. And since it was raw wood, the white paint kind of came out a slightly different tone. Well, it's also because the there's, there's like the oil from the original tiles are still. Yeah, there, I so mean, yeah. we're painting over drywall versus painting over raw wood. Now We're gonna put doors. our chandelier up there. We haven't done the chandelier yet. This ceiling is just the coolest. Joey, thank you. Oh, I'm so tired. Oh my gosh, the floors, you guys. Beautiful 
gray tone floors are actually bamboo, which is sustainable, eco-friendly, and very durable, because of course we're gonna be working out, lifting weights on it. Basically, when you're building a home gym, it's all about space saving, right? It depends on what types of workouts you do. We've been doing weight lifting. I just put together these puppies, power blocks, which are like those crazy modular dumbbells. Space saving, you guys, like we didn't want to get one of those huge shelves and have every weight of every dumbbell separately. Yeah, so we found like the transformer of dumbbells, which is basically like you can have like from like five pounds up to like 90 pounds in one. Thing. Thing. If you know anything about weights, like weight racks are big and clunky. What I found is this company that actually was on Shark Tank. If you mount it here, then we have one of the weight towers here mounted on the wall. And we're gonna use some major anchors. Are you going into the studs? Because you marked out those studs right there. I marked out them studs. All right, guys, I am beyond sweaty and gross. I have officially mounted the system. Joey, who obviously you guys know is like an expert at finding the studs and securely mounting things. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we love working out and now that we can come outside instead of having to get up even earlier to drive to the gym, it's really cool. When you're done, put it away. Dang. It's on hydraulics so you can just simply. Hydraulics, them. aka like a basketball pump. No, a gas. A gas shock. It's a hydraulic. Looks like a basketball pump. So there's a, a metal rod with grease on it going into a tube. Yeah, and it also, makes that same noise. That How do you think hydraulic lifts work? Like a basketball pump. <laughs> we have our treadmill that is covered in plastic because we were painting. I bought a treadmill from someone who won it on Let's Make a Deal for like 40% of what it would cost yeah. retail. I emailed the person thinking it's probably a Craigslist scam. I made her prove it to me that she won it. She sent me like her episode number. I looked it up, blah, blah, blah. She actually did win it on Let's Make a Deal. And I guess she doesn't like to run, so. Yeah, she I bought her like, treadmill. Yeah, brand new. We made a deal. The treadmill off Let's Make a Deal. <laughs> and our, our weight lifting equipment from Shark Tank. Getting big. Now it's like we finally get to landscape this puppy and finish Decorate furnishing the garage. inside the garage, yeah. We may have one or two more things to do internally. We still need to get are... my drink fridge in there with my eucalyptus towels. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, Very a lot exciting. has happened and uh, excited to bring you along for the rest of the journey, which we are getting close. You're getting so close, yeah. So make sure and subscribe. Yep. Because you are so kind that you're gonna get us to 72,333 likes, she you is going to 10. go into the Andy gum. No, Joey, you said you were gonna do that. <laughs> I've already been in there. No, you. that was me. We're not coming out of the Andy gump until we get them. Oh my God. Like that video so we can make more videos and not be in the Andy gum. No, I can't. <gasps>